What's up guys, Nuno here. Today I'm going to show you 10 Lumion tips you didn't know about that will speed up your workflow. This is a list I gathered from working with Lumion for many years. So let's start with number one, placing models on inclined surfaces. In certain situations, you may find yourself wanting to position a model on an inclined surface. This can be a time-consuming task as you try to rotate the model to the correct orientation. However, there is a simple solution that allows you to easily place or move an object according to the surface inclination. To achieve this, start by selecting the model you wish to place on the inclined surface. Then, while holding down the F key, use your mouse left click to move the object. As you do this, you'll notice that the object automatically adjusts to match the surface inclination. This feature can be incredibly useful and save you a lot of time and effort. So the next time you need to position a model on an inclined surface, remember to utilize this handy shortcut. Number two is rotate multiple objects at once. Have you ever encountered a situation where you had to rotate multiple objects individually, like chairs around a round table, for example? There is a simple solution for that. First, place all the chairs around the table without worrying about their direction. Then, select all the chairs and press the K key on the keyboard. While holding the K key, the chairs will rotate in the direction of your mouse cursor. Just place the cursor in the center of the table and voila! This is a quick and easy way to rotate objects. Next is use notes to replace objects. In Lumion, you can replace notes from your 3D model with any object. This feature is useful for adding multiple objects at once, such as a row of seats, lights in the ceiling, or street lights on the road. It works with most 3D model applications. To replace nodes with objects, first, set a node for each seat or object in your 3D model. Then, import the model into Lumion separately. First, only the nodes, then only the seat rows. Then, in the top right corner, click on the arrow to show the advanced options. Click on the Place Objects on Notes icon. Select the desired object such as a cinema chair. Lumion will automatically fill all the rows with the selected model, saving you time and effort. Next is Add Cars with Motion Blur directly inside Lumion. This is a request I get quite often. How to make a car with motion blur and those nice light trails. Before I show you how you can do that, First, let me tell you that for this effect to be realistic, it works best in evening or nighttime scenarios. This is because in a real-world camera, this is achieved by a slow shutter speed time. A slow shutter speed in a camera, it means that the camera takes longer to take a photo. When you do this, more light and more of what's happening can get into the camera before the picture is done. But it also means that objects that are moving will be blurred. In the daytime, there's a lot of light from the sun and unless you have very special filters for your lens, this cannot be achieved and the moving objects will always be quite sharp and frozen. So to do this in Lumion, you need to go to movie mode and after setting the path with a moving car, let's add a motion blur effect. For a strong effect, let's increase this. Now, click on Render Movie and at the top, select Image Sequence. Now, select Range and on the keyframes, let's try 30 to 30, for example. On the right, you will see a small preview of how it will look. If you like, you can render it. Or if not, you can select other keyframes, let's say 40 to 40. Let's render and see how it looks. You can now see the motion blur effect applied to the image. Next is surface imperfections. Surface imperfections are essential in making a render look realistic. They are everywhere in real life. There are plenty of ways to make this in Lumion, but one of the easiest is by using decals. Decals are a texture with some transparency that you add on top of any surface. Lumion already ships a few, but you can also add your custom ones. To add a decal, Head over to Effects on the bottom and then select the last icon called Decals. Let's select the Wall Damage category. Let's add this one, for example, on the corner of the wall. Now, what I like to do is to put the Blend Color slider all the way to the left. This way, 
you are just taking into account the normal and roughness, giving some nice variation on the wall. You can also play around with the roughness and reflectivity slider for best results. You can keep adding different decals to create surface imperfections. And if you want to add your custom ones, click on this icon that says Lumia. Now, on its properties, you can load any map. You can go to the MNCG website and get some imperfections for free. Just type the search Imperfections and now I'll select this one called Surface Imperfections 13. Download the 2K PNG files. Now just load the textures into each corresponding slot, adjust the properties and that's it. You now have your custom surface imperfections inside Lumion. And by the way, if you haven't got Lumion and you want to try these tips yourself, you can try Lumion for free. I'll leave the link below so you can check it for yourself. Next is light passing through walls. If you ever had this issue where you can see a ray of light through your walls, it is likely due to the geometry of your model. This can happen when the walls are represented by a single plane instead of having thickness. To prevent this issue, make sure your walls have a minimum thickness of 20 cm. Look at this comparison. On the left we can see it has only a single plane, while on the right you can see it has a 20 cm thick wall. You can see that the issue is gone on the right. Next is change items with the replace tool. So let's say you want to replace all your pine trees with palm trees instead. To quickly replace objects in your scene, you can follow these steps. In the top right corner, click on the arrow to access the options. Then select all identical objects. Click on the replace tool and choose the new objects you want to replace the existing ones with. This tool allows you to efficiently update your scene without having to redo the entire landscape or manually replace each object. It's a time-saving feature in Lumia. Next is Render Vertical Images. In the new version of Lumia, there are two ways to render a vertical image. The first way is to go to either Photo or Movie Mode and select the desired aspect ratio, such as 16 by 9 for an Instagram video, for example. Then click on the Flip Aspect Ratio icon. You can see now you have a vertical image. The second way allows you to capture more of the scene. You can add a handheld camera effect and turn the angle property all the way to the left. Keep in mind that controlling the camera position may be a bit more challenging, but you can still use the mouse and keyboard to adjust it. And this is the final result. And by the way, if you want to enhance your rendering skills, you can join my Lumion course. I'll leave a link in the description below for you to check it out. Next is quickly add variation. To add variation and randomization to your objects, you can use the following techniques while placing them. Press the L key to scale an object, or the R key to rotate it. This is a quick way to add variation and it will help with the realism of your scene. If you want to add slightly scaled variation, press and hold the V key. When you mouse left click to place an object, Lumion will automatically add objects with different heights. Next is bevel the edges. Another important tip is to avoid sharp 90 degree edges as they don't exist in the real world. To make your edges look realistic, you can select any material and then use the soften edges slider in Lumion. Adding a slight roundness to the edges can make a big difference in the overall appearance. Check this before and after adding a bevel to the edges. Much better, right? And these are just the tip of the iceberg. I have many more tips and tricks for you, so if you like a second video like this one, please comment below and don't forget to give the video a like so YouTube can show it to more people. Meanwhile, you can watch this video where I'm showing step by step how I created this villa in Lumion. And I'll see you in the next one.